video, we're gonna be looking at the Elgato ring light. So this is it. And it is a pretty large light. So here you go for reference size. It doesn't get hot, which is really nice. I just had it on, but I turned it off right now so I can show you what it looks like off. Uh, it does have a pretty long cord. So you can see here that it's got a pretty long cord. This is all its cord and it just plugs in and you can just um, plug it in really simply here at the bottom. It also has the on off button right there, which we'll turn on in a second. There's also a reset button. Uh, so the reason why it has a reset button is because it is wireless. So you can go ahead and connect it to your a wireless um, settings with, through your computer. I'm gonna turn it on so it's gonna brighten up here. So here you go. Now you've got it on and it has the, um, the settings right here at the top that you can like make it brighter or you can make it less bright. And I'll show you that here in a second. But again, you do also have this other setting here at the bottom that you just hold it and it's gonna blink. And then that's when it's gonna go ahead and turn it on. See, so do you see it blink there for a second? Let's try to see if we can do it again. Okay, you see that blink? So that actually is connecting to your computer, all right? And then from there, you can control it through your stream uh, deck, uh, which I've done a review on that as well. So you might see the review on that page. Uh, or you can connect it to the stream app on your actual phone, which is pretty cool too. All right, it is pretty lightweight, just the actual um, ring lights. Now I do have it on the Elgato base here and I do have the base plate as well. So I've got a whole Elgato pretty much a system here other than this piece right here. And you could also see that it does say the, the buttons here. It says on, off, and reset there. And that's where you plug it in. Uh, you can easily adjust it just like any Elgato um, poles. It does have the ball head here. You just loosen it there and then move it up and down. Uh, it is a little bit heavier with the base, like carrying it around, but it is really sturdy as well as it's very functional because you can move it up and down really easily with the pole here. All right, so another thing, like I said, you can control the light uh, settings right here. Now it can turn um, like a cooler light and a warmer light, but again, that's gonna be through your settings that you're gonna mostly use that. I know there's a way to do it here too, see? I just held it down and it changed it to more of like a bluish color. Let's see, I think that's the way I do it. <laughs> it's been a little while since I actually changed the color lighting. Let's see if I can press it. Okay, so that's got super, super bright. That actually like, that's super, super bright. <laughs> like super fast, but it does change in between all these different levels. So there you go. So I'm changing all the different levels for you. I'm just showing you the bottom half of it. Okay, and I know there's a way to change the lights, I believe, on here too. I think you just hold it maybe. I know it's been a while. I mean, I gotta like hit it twice or something. I can't remember how to do it exactly where you can change the cool light to the warm light, but I usually use the app for that or I use my stream deck, which I highly recommend you just get a stream deck. Uh, you can see it there. It's got a little bit different color on my screen to the actual light, but uh, it does produce a really nice light and you can literally just look at it. And um, when you're looking at it, it's not going to like blind you because it is a very soft light as well as it doesn't heat up. So it's not going to make you soup. It's not going to make you hot. I don't, I never sweat with this thing on and I'm going to see if I can actually change the light color Let's see if I can hold it down and change it. I just can't remember how to use that function or if it's a function on this particular one because my other one, my smaller one, it is a function that you can actually hold down the button and it'll change it, but it might not be on this one. I might just think that it's just a little bit different on the other one, but it did change. You see that? It did turn like a, a little bit bluer color. All right, you see that? It did turn a bluer color when I held it down. Okay, and then this is, of course, going to turn back warm. All right. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.